Hello everybody, my name is Janetta and today I'm gonna give you some tips on how to shop during the sales season. As we all know, summer sales are coming or they are already going on and this is the great opportunity to stuff your wardrobe with something new and nice without breaking the bank. Why did I decide to record this kind of video? Well, I will not be very humble at the moment. I call myself the sales master. I'm very interested in things like marketing and the brands, but as well I worked one year and a half in one of the big stores at Oxford Street in London, so I can reveal some secrets. I will be giving you examples based on shops like Zara, Bershka, Topshop River Island, H&M, but more or less it works the same way for all the high street brands. And again, it doesn't apply only for the summer sales, you can use these tips shopping during the winter sales. The winter sales start usually on the Boxing Day, which is 26th of December, and they last approximately till the middle of February, depends on the particular store and on the brand. Summer sales, though, start more or less from the middle of June, and they last till like middle August, I would say, also depends on the particular store, location and the brand. My first advice about shopping on sales, don't shop on the very first day, on the very first week as well. I was always pretty amazed why all these people decide to go to the battlefield during the Boxing Day. It's crowded, it's messy, you have to wait hours in the queues for the cash desk or the fitting rooms, and usually it's pretty understocked. Why would you do it to yourself? The lack of comfort is not my only reason why you should wait a bit. In most of the shops, there is something called price cuts. To be more specific, in Inditex, Zara, Bershka, Stradivarius, Pull and Bear, Massimo Duty, Oisho, there are price cuts every single week, usually on Wednesday after the closing time. So let me explain you how it works. Let's imagine a coat that costed 100 pounds. During the first week of the sales, it will be minus 10, maximum minus 15%. So this coat will cost about 90 quid. Next week, another price cut will happen and we'll have minus 25%, which will give us 75 quid for a coat. In the end of the sale, this coat might cost you 15 pounds if they still have it in stock. So, when is the perfect time for shopping? I would say something like the second half of the shopping season. So for summer sales, it will be something like the end of July and for winter sales, the end of January. The prices will be pretty, pretty low and they will still have some nice stock there. What is the best time during the week to go sales shopping? First, I will tell you what is the worst time. Saturdays and Sundays, especially after 4 p.m. During the sales, shops can be extremely messy and obviously there is a lot of customers there, so queues are just horrendous. Mind the fact that the chain shops are very often understaffed, so it can happen that the staff members didn't manage to bring more stock on the shop floor, tidy up the sales tables or the rugs, or just simply clean the fitting rooms. The chances of finding some nice items will be pretty low and it can be pretty unpleasant to be there. The best time to go to the shop is the mornings during the week, but I understand not everybody can do it. Well, you can still come after work. In Inditex shops, there are deliveries twice a week, Tuesday and Friday. So it means A, the shops will be more tidy and B, probably they got more stock also from the sales. My next advice will be before heading to the shop of your choice, install an application on your smartphone. Why? First, because it happens very often that items are not priced correctly. It means that, for example, the dress has the price of $15.99 on it, but in fact it costs $9.99 after the price cut. With the app, you can just scan an item and you don't have to ask sales assistant all the time to check the price for you. I will reveal one secret. Very often in these shops, they want to trick you a bit. So you can have the sales corner where all the sales items are placed, but somehow sometimes sales assistant blend in the new collection items in it. You would think that probably it's on sale because it was in the sales section, 
it just doesn't have a price tag or, or something but then you will go to the cash desk and you will find out that this is the full price item well it's not always the sales assistance fault also customers leave things in random places so it gets mixed up another thing is the new collection items are very often almost the same as the sales items especially when it comes to basics denim t-shirts and so on the only difference is the reference number so have this application on your phone be smarter than them the last tip about the application scan the inside barcode not the barcode that is placed on the tag this paper tag that is attached to the item take a look at the cashiers they always scan this inside one why because some of the customers think that they can be more clever than the system and they would attach the price tag from the sale item on the full priced item and they would think they would just pay less well sorry honey it will not happen remember this inside barcode doesn't lie for sure you are wondering what is worth buying on sales well everybody's needs are different but i would say in the summer sale buy the winter clothing and during the winter sale buy the summer clothing simply because maybe in a month, month and a half, this kind of items will be pretty expensive. When I go sales shopping, I tend to look for the items that were originally pretty pricey and they are timeless. For example, big coats, fake leather jackets, shoes, basics. Shoes. If you don't stick to the vegan shoes, take a look at the leather shoes in the chain shops. I would say they are not very bad quality and the price will go really really low. I also recommend you searching for knitwear. We all know how expensive these big chunky sweaters can be but for example in the end of sales in Inditex stores all the knitwear will cost $3.99. The next thing I really love buying on sales is denim. I really think that Zara Bershka Pull & Bear Stradivarius jeans are very good quality. The last thing is all kinds of fashion and trend accessories, jewelry and so on. Things that you are quite skeptical about if you're gonna wear it at all. Well, now it's kind of cheap. So even if you wear it just once, it's still all right. What not to buy? Well, I will tell you my mistake I used to make in the past. Clothes that are not my size, but just because they are cheap. Well, usually it happens the clothes were just too big for me because I wear a size like extra small, small, and they are very often sold out. So I would take something large, extra large, and I would promise to myself I will wear it with a belt as an oversized piece or I will make some alterations. Well, I never did. All kinds of things that you say, well, it's not my style or it's a bit childish, but it will be perfect for wearing it at home or as a pyjama. Of course you will, yeah? You will end up with half of your wardrobe stuck with these Mickey Mouse t-shirts and you will just forget about them. The last thing is all this kind of plastic costume jewelry. Okay, still depends on the person, but I used to buy all kinds of 10 packs of earrings or big statement necklaces. And then I was forgetting about them, losing them, too lazy to put them on. Online shopping versus in-store shopping. I will not tell you which one is better, but let's talk pros and cons. In-store shopping. Probably you will have more stock, more items there. What is good? You can try them on immediately. If you don't like something, you just don't take it. You just need to remember one very important thing. These sales items were tried on by thousands of different people. Very often they have some makeup stains that maybe you might not be able to remove. In the stock rooms, garments are held in some kind of boxes, but sometimes they are exposed dust to the dirt. Very often they fall on the floor, the same on the shop floor. They can fall on the floor, people stand on them. So if you want, a fresh item that nobody wore before just do your shopping online when it comes to the online shopping it's great it saves you a lot of time but I've noticed that sometimes they have less stock online I will also tell you my strategy of buying online for example I really wanted a specific pair of shoes from Zara they were originally I think 120 pounds 
but on sales they were 40 pounds but they just didn't have my size i signed up for the notification they so they should send me an email once my size is back to the stock but always when i got the notification it was too late what i did i opened the website on this particular pair of shoes and few times a day i was refreshing the website once i saw they are in stock i bought them immediately and guess what they had another price cut and i bought them for 20 pounds the last thing i want to talk about today is what to expect when you go sales shopping when it comes to the customer service you know it varies in each single country and also all brands have different inside policies but i will explain it to you from my former workplace point of view my store was a typical high street brand in a very 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 busy place oxford street in london marble arch so for example we had a policy that we can allow a customer to take only six items to the fitting room with them outside the sales season if somebody had more than six we would hold it for them in a special rack and once they were done with the previous set we could just kind of swap during the sales season though we had this policy that we cannot hold items that are from sale simply because we just didn't have time didn't have extra hands to work and we just didn't have space for that a lot of customers were very angry at us but well we just had to do it the same situation was happening with putting a hold for like 24 hours if you wanted to buy something later outside the sales season you could do it you could come to the shop go to the cash desk ask them to put a hold and the item would be waiting for you 24 hours but during the sales season it's impossible I mean with the full price items it is possible but with the sales items we just couldn't do it because it was no space for that next thing is asking for a different size when you are in the fitting room sales assistants will gladly bring you another size of the item if it's the new collection if it's sales it's impossible it's not because they don't want you to buy the cheap item in fact sales assistants don't really care what you buy it's just because the new collection items are put in some kind of order on the shop floor as well as in the stockroom while sales items are all over and it's impossible to find something there that leads us to another question which is do you have this dress in another size because i checked on your website and it says that you do can you bring it for me from the stockroom probably you will hear this answer i'm sorry madam everything we've got is on the shop floor and unfortunately the website is not updated as i mentioned before sales are a mess and maybe we have this dress in size small somewhere but we have no idea where is it it can be somewhere under the table it can be in some box in the stockroom and there are 100 boxes in the stockroom which are just signed dresses but what kind of dresses are inside and what sizes we don't know i think it's very important to understand that sales assistants are not against you and it's not in personal but sometimes there's just nothing they can do about it they have to follow so certain policies and there is a lot of things to do that your manager tells you have to complete and obviously the shop is always understaffed be nice to one another in the end of the day you are just buying clothes not performing a surgery on an open heart i think that's all for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed sharing my knowledge with you if you have any other sales tricks share it with us in the comment section down below I would also want to ask you if you would like me to record a video some kind of sharing with you my horror stories working in retail in London very important thing I would be extremely happy if you subscribe to my channel I upload every Friday and Sunday and if you like this video give it a thumb up and remember you can also visit me on my social media Twitter Facebook and Instagram I hope to see you next time bye bye